interesting and difficult it is to do rhythm, vocals, and play guitar at the same time. That's huh, a lot more difficult than I thought. <laughs> This experience has, has benefited you. I mean, I first saw Joe Bonamassa, one of my biggest guitar yeah, influences, absolutely. at the Orpheum Theater, and then he booked the Orpheum Theater with the Wall concert, and it was it was amazing. I feel like just so many things have come uh, just all come together, and yeah. I just feel like I've become a better guitar player player through School of Rock. Now, had you played before? School of Rock? Oh yeah. So yeah. how so how are the lessons different? How does kind of the style of learning music and well I mean like I take vocal lessons okay. and I up until I joined School of Rock I hadn't really I wasn't really much of a guitar player and singer at the same time and then I joined School of Rock and I learned how to do that I'm like wow I really learned how to play and sing at the same time and it's just one of those things that really helps me yeah you can yeah. tell you can kind of see the enthusiasm in his voice and that's got to be fun yeah. for you now you guys played a gig last week at uh, Rib Fest, is that correct? Yeah, he, he's in the house band and okay. they played at Rib Fest. Yeah. We also played at Alf's Harley Davidson Spring Bash this year. Um, we're gonna play at River Fest tomorrow at noon, the house band is, and then his band, he has his own band called Brandon Lane and the Hired Guns and they play at four tomorrow to open for the Phantom Blues Band tomorrow night. Now that, that's really cool. I mean, what, what an honor for you. How excited are you about, I mean, about that opportunity? Oh God, I'm so excited. I mean, it's just, I, um, I played a Mike Finnegan tune who is one of the leaders of the Phantom Blues Band, right. and to be opening for him is just amazing. I mean, he's just a great... Guy. 